So we're going to bring Teresa Plecker in, our Investor Relations Manager. She, was, she saw this site right when we bought it, and it was a little rough, but we've had a year worth of DeRosa operations here. Let's see what she has to say. I know, Look nice finished floors. I remember I was here when the floors were being sanded, and this was just a dream. Yeah. And this had these horrible. Yeah. Yeah. It was oh. a, we would have the back, it had the stove with the backing to yes, it. Yes, right? that was so horrible. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 it took a stove with a backing. Uh, and would have paid the extra hundred bucks to just put something like a flat, yeah. nice flat so stove these, here, guys. These little holes and over where food could drop. Yeah. Oh. This is Justin's pride and joy. This sink. I love that. He sink. literally bathed a small animal or human in here. <laughs> it's little like wow factors like this yes. that, that matter. And he got a great number on these sinks as long as we're committed to buy a lot of them, which we need yes. for 336 units. So this is like one of those wow. Like somebody that's like they, that likes to cook or whatever comes yes. in. Oh man. That's so cool. That's so convenient. Look at that. I want this sink in my house. I know. <laughs> I want to do it. I'm like, I'm saying, you got any extra ones, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. look at this. And I love that. Well, when we were here, you know, the appliances didn't quite match. Yeah. <laughs> so they look so good and the light looks so good and the mm -hmm. cabinets. I can't believe how phenomenal this let's, unit is. Let's looks. show you back here. Let's I take a look. cracked tile too. Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> Uncrack that tile. Look at this. A little staging in the bedrooms. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at this. You get a full size bed. Yes. And, you know, in staging the unit, you can see what's possible here. Absolutely. Because yeah. this really makes the room in your mind much bigger. And what I love too is all the light coming in from the window. Yeah. And nobody can, I mean, unless they're jumping up and down on the, from the outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You still, still have privacy. Like the views yeah. that you get. Look at those trees yeah. out. Guys, in the, in the YouTube channel, check. We've got a video on the cost of staging an apartment. This is the apartment we did the analysis on. So check through the YouTube content. You guys can look to see that. There you go. These are right. really nice size. Yeah. Really. Nice classic paint job too. too. Yeah. I like the brick back just there, but the painted brick looks so yeah. nice. And look at all the space. I just love that we just uh, buff the floors again, guys. My favorite floor ever is hardwood, you know, with carpet being the absolute bottom of the list on my favorite, on my favorite floor coverings. So we just buffed this out, brought these floors back. I think we're at the bathroom. Oh, let me get out of the way so you can see this. This is gorgeous. Yeah. I really like the bow. Teresa, the bow on that shower curtain mm -hmm. is, I think it's another $15, $20 to, yeah. do, to buy that bowed shower curtain. But look at the difference it makes mm -hmm. in showing the unit. Then any perspective tenant, and by the way, it, it leaks less because if you recess it back like that, see how it's the bow's not a little yes. bit against the wall? That's a properly installed bow. You don't put it all the way up to the edge because then it'll encourage the water oh. to drip out of the out of the tub. That actually keeps more water in the tub and it also makes it feel like a bigger encasement inside the in the it in the tub does. by putting that rounded feature. I, I love that you pointed that out about the, mm -hmm. the ends coming in because so many times when you're in a shower with a shower curtain, you always seem to be fighting those ends. Yeah. And this looks like it's already automatically taken care of. That's where it's going to leak. I would think if you would need that when you have somebody who's renting who maybe isn't as concerned as if they were owning. In my experience as a landlord, the more common leak that happens uh -huh. in a bathroom, people are like, oh, the toilet's leaking. Not as much. What really happens more often than not is the shower leaking on the edge because the tenant in prior, it just, they don't have their shower curtain installed properly uh -huh. or they're just not let, not being responsible with the shower curtain and part of their shower water is going right down through the floor into the unit below. You know, and I remember the last time I was in here, are these like the original tub and the mm -hmm. tiles around it? Because it didn't look quite as lovely. <laughs> what we did here was we refinished that tile. We just sprayed an epoxy on it, which is a fancy way of saying paint. Yeah. Um, and then we uh, did an epoxy on the uh, on the on the tub mm -hmm. and on the tile on the wall to give it like that nice new looking a new looking sheen to it but without having to put the labor or the demo cost or whatever ripping that old cast iron tub out of here and putting yeah. a new a, a new plastic tub liner in. well and i'm wondering about that too because when you say paint on tile i have all kinds of horrible vision so that mm -hmm. must is that a really durable kind of thing to you have do? To, you have to rough it first. You got you can oh. use it with a grinder or with sandpaper. You got to take the sheen off of the tile. You know, the uh -huh. tile's got like that, sh that nice shiny yeah. finish to it. You got to take that off because that's what makes the paint not want to stick to it. So you got to, if you rough the edge of the tile up, right, uh -huh. it'll, it'll, the paint will adhere to it. Also, you have to use paint that's made to go on tile and made to go on a bathtub, right? So they put a grinder on that tub to uh -huh. take the, take the sheen off of it. Uh -huh. And they, uh, and they, t and they rough up the tile as well and then use the right paint. 
Well, you can you can't just take a regular you know bear you know whatever yeah. or a yeah. you know Benjamin Moore paint like you would put on a wall mm -hmm. and that's been done. I've been in a bathroom oh, that's had that done and, and that's peels and, that peels within yeah. hours. But that was professionally done, professionally sprayed on, uh, and that's the same uh, finish by the way on our countertops. Those countertops are really? not new. Those are those are encapsulated, Hello? overlaid epoxy uh, countertops. Wait a minute, you use the old countertops over here? Yep. We put a new coating on top of them. But really? feel that. It's like a fingernail. It's right? amazing. It yeah. feels, it looks. Yes. Yeah. And it's got that texturized uh -huh. look to it and everything like that. It looks granite-ish. Yes. It's perhaps stone maybe, yeah, right? Perhaps but it's is. not It's not a uh, new countertop. It is a encapsulated countertop. It's just a Formica. But it's got this very thick uh, epoxy on top of it, right? Wow. A couple hundred bucks, guys. You can make, a great, make your countertops look pretty much new and it's a coating uh, application. There's specific contractors that do this work. We did not do it in house. We hired a third party contractor. Um, and because of scale, this is a testament to multifamily mm -hmm. because we're doing so many apartments here. We're going to get a great deal out of the coating company. They come in every time we turn a unit, they do this coating and they do the, uh, the shower and the tub uh, all together just in one shot. And within a couple of hours, they're done and onto the next unit. You know what I'm, I'm taken by is the, the finish on this. It looks, mm -hmm. It looks so different, and I'm looking into the bathroom right here. You know what I'm seeing is that little bit of shine yeah. on the tile, which made me think that this is new tile. Mm -hmm. And I thought, how on earth did you guys do all of that? Mm -hmm. And are you doing it for the entire shine place? Shine makes it look new. It does. Shine makes it look new. It's the same kind of thing you see in, like, have you heard of, like, semi-gloss paint, right? Mm -hmm. There is an additive you can put in this epoxy to make it shine. All, the, all shine really is, what's shine? I'm seeing the light being reflected off of this back at me. Uh -huh. So it's just a it's just a characteristic of the chemical they put on and of the finish they put on here to make it reflect light easier. So it makes it look nice and shiny. And things that are that shine like this mm -hmm. don't show stains as well because what do I see? I see the sheen. Yes. I don't see the stains that are here. I don't see the texture of the of the epoxy. I see that it's shining back at me. And because of that chemical they put in there, it's also easy to keep clean. I just remember that the cabinets did not look like this. Yeah. Are, are the doors Those are new, new doors. Oh, they are, are new, new doors. But you kept the boxes. Mm -hmm. It's very common. That that's what we do. So yeah, open up. See? Look at see them. It. Yeah. And that's the old box. And that's, and that's a very common, really that, that is a very, that is a standard DeRosa finish, is doors off, paint the box, put brand new doors on, put new, and put new handles on. And we can do a kitchen set like this for around $500, whereas wow. a new, a full new cabinet set for a kitchen would run somewhere in the, in the multi thousands, two, wow. three thousand maybe. Um, but I can come in here for about 500 bucks. I can do those cat, do those cabinet doors, the handles, probably all redone, all soup to nuts for maybe under $3,000. Wow. Right? Well, I've got money for my floors left. I've got yes. money for my, because our typical DeRosa finish budget is around six thousand mm -hmm. to do to turn an apartment, mm -hmm. um, and we aim to get somewhere between a hundred to two hundred dollars per unit uh, for for that DeRosa level finish. So. Well, I have to say, it really, it's beautiful and it's inviting. I keep using that yeah. word, but I'm just amazed to come back a year later and to see all of this. This looks like a place a lot of people I know, including myself, would go. Yeah. I'd be happy to live here. I don't care. I this look here, seriously, this, it has anything I would want. It's got it you know, central air, I got a washer dryer, I got a washer dryer in my unit, you know, nice, is nice that? amenity. I got a nice clean kitchen here. Oh. I like to cook so I can do all the cooking I need in the kitchen like this. And you have that fabulous sink that I'm, yeah, I know. I'm gonna right. be stealing. Yeah, yeah, lots of cool stuff. Cool. Thank you, Matt. Right. Thank you, Teresa, for your input. All right, guys, so that was a walk through one of our finished apartments here at the residences at Diamond Ridge with my great friend, Teresa Klecker. Just, she was here right when we bought the property and she hadn't had a chance to see it until now, a year after ownership, to see the great finishes we've made here. It's great to, first of all, it's awesome to celebrate wins. Uh, for any rental that you guys have or business project you guys are on, it's interesting to look ahead of where you want to go, but it's even more important to look back and see where you've come from. So it's great to celebrate that with Teresa because she was here and she saw in her Southern charm when she, when she walked this property, she said, oh my, what are we getting ourselves into, right? <laughs> and now you look, it's a whole different complex, it right? It is. The whole yeah. place is wonderful. Yeah. And what a fantastic job. So it's great to celebrate that. And we hope you guys got some tips here for how you guys can finish your rentals and maybe ways you can set your own company standards for renovations you want to get so you can repeat those processes over and over and over again. If you guys like what we do here on the Destructorosa Group YouTube channel, do take a minute right now and like this video, subscribe to this channel, and leave a comment below. Tell us what you think about what we're up to. Are you ready? They get to close it out with me, right? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great and profitable week. <laughs>